That there are, there are things that pain accomplishes in our relationship that allows you to know God and build your relationship with God that nothing else will. And that's an uncomfortable message. And Hey there, saints. Welcome to Awaken Church's Sermon Spark Notes. As this past Sunday, we closed out our series going through the book of James. And we took a deeper look at how James chose to close out his letter to the church. And the way he chose to close out his letter to the church was to charge them, charge the church to become preppers. As we went through this past Sunday, preppers today are those who prepare and equip themselves now for a future unforeseen, as yet unknowable crisis or emergency event. And that's what James does. He says, church, prepare now for these times of trials, these times of great difficulty, which are coming. And prepare now to respond to them in the way God wants you to and not the world, the way the world tends to. The world tends to deal with the issue of pain by avoiding it, seeking to eliminate it or minimize it. And God, in turn, says, no, no, no. I use pain to help to cause you to turn your eyes more towards me. That there are, there are things that pain accomplishes in our relationship that allows you to know God and build your relationship with God that nothing else will. And that's an uncomfortable message. And, and in saying that, we're not saying that God is saying you should avoid doctors or counselors or medication or getting care. It's simply saying that your first response in the midst of difficult times, great trial and pain, should not be to look to avoid it, to run from it or eliminate it, but to ask, what are you doing with this in my life, Lord? That was true if you read the scriptures. This is how God has used pain throughout the scriptures, uh, whether it's through the prophets, through the kings, the disciples, and even in the life of Jesus. God uses pain to accomplish his purposes in their lives. And if that is true, why would we ever imagine that we would be exempt? And so this upcoming week, as you meditate, uh, hopefully, on the message and the final uh, words of James, I want to challenge you to consider a couple of key questions, right? Uh, if I am in this stage of my life going through a time of trial, am I responding in the way God might want me to? And how does this idea of God using pain to forge my relationship with him, change how I might be preparing today? What qualities would God want to build in me? And so those are just some questions to have you consider and think through as you go through this coming week as we wrap up the book of James. And I hope this series has been a blessing to you and a challenge to you as well. Take care and be blessed.